Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Some unfortunate news for the station this week with the loss of the latest SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle. The company's seventh resupply flight lifted off from Cape Canaveral on Sunday, but experienced an anomaly 139 seconds into the flight that resulted in a loss of the mission. The on-orbit crew has plenty of consumables, enough to last until at least October. To see how things were going, we checked in with astronaut Scott Kelly aboard the station. You know, with our current uh, transportation plan with Progress and uh, HTV in August, you know, assuming those come on time, we should be in uh, great shape. And that Russian Progress vehicle is already on its way to the station. The cargo craft lifted off successfully from Kazakhstan late Thursday and is set to arrive on Sunday, July 5th, delivering several tons of food, fuel, and supplies to the Expedition 44 crew. As always, for the latest updates on this mission, visit nasa.gov station. A big milestone was reached this week as cosmonaut Gennady Padalko became humanity's most experienced spaceman. On Sunday, he broke former cosmonaut Sergei Krikalov's record of 803 days in space. Padalka started his career on the Russian Mir space station and is currently on his fourth long duration stay on the International Space Station. He's commanding his fourth crew and his experience will be able to teach scientists a lot about how humans fare in space for extremely long periods of time. This week, Sunfire wants to know how the station avoids contamination during crew rotation. Well, it's mostly due to the fact that the astronauts spend time in a highly controlled environment before they even get to space. Astronauts and cosmonauts headed for the station spend their last two weeks before launch in quarantine. Special attention is paid to who gets to see them to make sure they don't come into contact with any sick individuals before liftoff. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.